good. Okay, we're cutting mom's hair. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. No. Looks weird. Looks weird. It looks weird. Okay, Paul. <laughs> he might have to edit rock around there. <laughs>
and not not just washing it trying to calm it out and then it got to the point that I just let it air dry I wouldn't even blow dry it well for one thing I don't have time so it didn't take me long after I finally convinced myself to go ahead and do it and I called my daughter and I said or a messenger and I said when you come over um, when all this is over with and they start letting people get back together let's trim my hair I said it was more or less we're going to do it we're going to cut my hair off and she couldn't believe it but anyways when she was cutting my hair it really I don't think it really bothered me because I'm not much of a, um, even when I'm getting up and go to work, I don't spend more than 10 minutes on my hair. I don't hardly put any makeup on. I just get dressed and go to work. And uh, it's just, it's not something that I really worry about. I worry more about my hair being in good condition than I do if it's looking good every day. I just couldn't take the long hair and having it pulled up on my head no more. So we had to do something about it. And I'm glad I did. I don't regret it at all. But anyways, I wanted to come on here and kindly break it to y'all slowly because I didn't want y'all to be like... She didn't tell us that she cut her hair. So, and put y'all in shock. But today, I'm just trying to get around, um, clean up the breakfast dishes. Uh, it's like I have to make a list anymore. Do I need to work outside, or do I need to work inside, or do I need to do this, or do that? I don't know. It's just, I've got to make a list, because nothing's ever caught up. And even though we've been home all this time, with all this time, we're still not caught up. We're still doing projects and uh, gardening and uh, building fences we've got a new project going that mr brown is working so so hard on and he's doing it just for me so i'm gonna start putting bits and pieces of this project in a video because i want to bring y'all along as i'm doing this project because it's really something that i've wanted to do for many years I never had the funds to do it. You know, a homesteader, we don't have lots of money. Um, our families were homesteaders, and, you know, our descendants before them were homesteaders, and nobody had money. Homesteaders don't make a lot of money. Um, but I can tell you what does help us, and that is the fact that we bring you all these videos um, hoping that y'all like them. We bring y'all into our lives and we share stuff with y'all because we want to. And because, because we love our life so much and thank the Lord for every blessing that he gives us. And I'm not talking about material things. I'm just talking about everyday life. Uh, just going out and being able to walk out in your garden, be able to walk out into my woods, be able to walk down my road with no traffic, to put food on the table, to go to worship, knowing that my children, my grandchildren are healthy and everything's good because God is good all the time. Whether you're having trials or tribulations or whatever's going on in this world, God is good all the time. Um, but... Going back to homesteading don't make you a bunch of money. But YouTube does help out, that's for sure. Because with us being able to make a channel and make these videos and bring them to you, and we get monetized, and um, we're able to get uh, subscribers, and as we get monetized, they start putting ads on our videos. But mainly our 
subscribers. Our subscribers and being dedicated to us, loving us and watching us and giving us the encouragement is what helps us to do some of the things that we're able to do now that we've never been able to do before. And not because we didn't work hard. It just wasn't feasible. But as time goes on and your channel grows and um, you're able to do a few more things on your homestead. And that has been such a blessing to us. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a little bit of hint of what our new project is. Because um, Miss Lori got a she shed. <laughs> I know that's what they're calling them now. Um, it's not real big, but it's big enough. Plenty big enough. But this is the deal. It's not Miss Lori's she shed, per se, but it is a storage building. It's a really nice one that uh, I went and uh, I had it made the way I wanted it. Of course, I had to be very careful because I had so much money that I could spend. And I didn't want to go over that. So I had to pick out the colors of the siding and, uh, of course, the roof, the tin roof. Got to get, you know, whether if I wanted... Uh, windows in it and I did put a couple windows in it. The windows were very high but I only I stuck to my limit and put two windows in it and uh, put a, a, a decent door in it. I didn't want one of them solid uh, white doors in it and they painted it for me and uh, I wanted two lofts in it because I'm going to be taking my Christmas stuff and my canning stuff and stuff that's mine, like uh, old pictures and stuff like that, stuff that I need to store, that's going to be my storage building to keep my stuff in. Plus, it's big enough that I'm going to be able to put it, make a guest house out of it. And that, by itself, is so exciting to me. Now, it's not going to be a huge guest house, but it's going to be big enough for somebody to stay in. Because, um, as most of y'all know, Danny and I live in a one-bedroom cabin. It's a very small cabin, uh, and we love it. And we decided to do this when all the kids left, and Danny got off the road from trucking, and uh, we sold the farm. Of course, we had cattle. We've had it all. We've done it all. But it was just time for me and him to settle down, and that's why we built this small cabin. For one thing, we, we don't want a lot of debt because we're going to be retiring soon. I drive, uh, my truck's paid for, my car's paid for. Uh, I just don't want a bunch of debt. Well, neither one of us do. Uh, hopefully, God willing, that we make it to retirement, which will be in about four or five years. And uh, so, that being said, living in a one-bedroom cabin and wanting family or friends to every once in a while come be with us. And even my grandchildren. And they're growing up too. Um, I wanted a place for them to be able to stay. Uh, we don't have much room in the this one bedroom cabin. But it's big enough. And I have a big family. Between my kids and my grandkids, we've all been in here at holidays and if mama cooks a big supper for everybody or something and we make it just fine but as far as somebody be able to uh, relax and and have their own room be able to stay the night or a few nights or a week or whatever we just haven't had that room now just recently made a uh, an outdoor kitchen on my back screen in porch and that's really exciting too and we didn't spend a uh, bunch of money on that either because it's pretty much done um, I've, I've got my cook stove and uh, my freezer out there. I've got everything I need out there to pretty much cook, especially my cannon. It's going to be nice to be able to go out there and can this summer and not heat my little cabin up. So that's a good thing. But anyways, this little building, storage building slash guest house slash Lord She Shed, uh, We've really uh, spent a lot of time thinking about it, how we want it done, and not spending a bunch of money on it. 
but be able to make it uh, functional, make it last for many years. And that's Mr. Brown's, uh, that's his part of the, uh, the whole deal. Because if he's going to do something, he's going to do it right. That's for sure. And uh, he's put a lot of time and effort in this. I'm really proud of it. But as time goes on, I'm going to start bringing y'all with us. Because I really want y'all in the process of this little building. Um, he's got it. He's just about got it to where I can go in and, and paint the walls. And I'm even going to paint the floors and I'm going to seal them. And, but I'm really thinking about too is after when I paint my floor, I may go in there with some stenciling and do some stencil on the floor. Because this little, this little building is going to be kind of a, uh, decorated and done in, in, in a way of, uh, of who me and Mr. Brown are, our personalities. And, uh, if you were to come stay with us, what, what we would want y'all to feel comfortable in. And, uh, I know Miss Vicki, <laughs> she stayed with us before and she stayed in a, uh, a little camper, but, uh, I'm really excited if she gets to come stay with me again, that this will all be done and she'll, Maybe she'll be the first one to, of my guests to be able to stay in it. Uh, either that or family members. Maybe my cousin Julie can come see me and stay with me a week or something. So I'm, we're just really trying to work on it hard and get it done. And I'm making this too long of a video, but I'm trying to explain things uh, of what's going on on the homestead right now. I mean, there's so much going on on this homestead right now that uh, we just can't. You know, we start one project and we got to go to the next and it's just something all the time. And a lot of y'all can, y'all know what we're talking about. But uh, we just stay vigilant on it and try to get it done. But uh, I didn't want to just come in here and make a video and shock everybody by Miss Lori's hair being cut off. And uh, it wasn't a bad thing. So um, we thought about sending it to a Box of Love, but... What I checked on, uh, they're not even accepting anything like that right now. So, that being said, anyways, what I told Danny I would do, and I had been doing it with my hair as it was shedding and coming out anyways, I would save them wads of hair, and I stuck them out here when spring first started for the birds. And you know them birds was, uh, I had it in a little cage still, and I hung it out here on the tree. And uh, they were coming and getting some of my hair and build a nest with it. So, <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't a bad thing. So, anyways, Danny's out there right now working on my, on my building. I've got to get breakfast cleaned up. I've been dehydrating mushrooms, so I need to get them uh, put up. Um, I need to go out to the garden. I need to go out to the building. I need to, to sweep all the walls down and get everything cleaned up because I'm going to be painting. And I want to bring you all along with in that part too because, like I said, as each step, I want to bring you all along all the way to the very end. So uh, I'm really excited because once I get painted, I can start storing my, my jars and a lot of my just stuff that I don't use every day and start storing it up in the the lofts. Um, I may even make one of the lo little lofts. Uh, I may put a mattress up there for the grandkids. I have to figure that one out. There will be a compost toilet in it. This will be pretty much an off-grid guest house. Now when I say that, Danny has run a little bit of wiring to it because uh, if somebody was to have to stay in it during the summer, we would want to, because I'm telling you, Arkansas gets really, really hot. We would like to be able to put a little tiny air conditioner in there to make it comfortable. Uh, if somebody was in there during the winter time, there won't be any wood heat in it because the insurance would go through the roof. Uh, but we would put one of them little uh, tiny heaters in it. It wouldn't take much to, to heat that little thing. So, we did run just a little bit of wiring to it, but um, it'll mostly be an off-grid guest house. So, anyways, I wanted to bring y'all up to date. 
I wanted to bring this up today so I didn't shock everybody. And I want y'all to know that I'm really happy with my shorter hair. And when I first started doing my videos, I had short hair. And uh, I had short hair for a long time in my life. Like I said, when my thyroid quit, uh, I lost a lot of hair. But with uh, the vigilance of my daughter taking care of my hair, and uh, me, I don't, I, <laughs> my hair went gray very young. Uh, at one point, I was coloring it, and then it got to the point I was having colored every two weeks, and I thought, Lori, this is ruining your hair, and uh, I just got tired of every time I turned around, I was having to color it, so Brittany helped me, and we just let it go completely gray, so don't ever think that letting your hair go gray makes you old. It just makes you... Uh, I mean, I'm going into my older years, I feel like, with a little bit of grace because I'm not afraid of it. In fact, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be some really good years of mine and Danny's lives. Uh, you know, me and Danny met. It was just, you know, me and Danny and building a life. And now that... You know, we've had our children and our grandkids are growing up, and I hope I'm here to see my great-grandkids. Um, so it's time for us to be together. And uh, since we built this life, it's time for us to uh, think about our next home, the best home we'll have, and that's to be with the Lord when that time comes. So that's what we focus on. But anyways, I made this video too long. But like I said, <laughs> I wanted to bring y'all up to date on a few things. And I'm really excited about um, our little project we got going on. And with all the gardening and everything. And a little bit of cooking in between, too. So, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to get busy. And uh, y'all have a, a good rest of the week. Um, we're having a hard time uploading videos right now. It's not just me. It's a lot of people. Uh, the Wi-Fi and the, the airwaves are just full and, and crazy right now. Um, I had a 14-minute video one day that took four hours to upload. I had one video that wasn't very long that wouldn't upload. <coughs> so I just I just quit and, and settled down for a little bit. So I'm not sure when this one I even get uploaded to the truth. I'm going to try. So y'all have a good rest of the week. I'll probably see you again in a couple of days. And uh, I don't know what we'll be doing or what the video will be, but it'll be something. So y'all take care and stay well. And God bless everybody. We love y'all.